Alright. Did, uh, we did you found a murder weapon. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! What is it? It's a knife. Magical mind bullet man, please produce the knife. I'm a woman, I scream as I... <laughs> I'm a changeling. They can only be women. All you changeling look alike to me. Give me the knife. <laughs> I'm half tempted to stab you, but that will end bad. <laughs> I stab you with the murder weapon. <laughs> Worst part is, I don't think you'd hit me. That's why I would end badly. <laughs> I have 23 AC. I reluctantly hand over the knife. Not entirely certain that that's a good idea. Have any of you seen this before? It It's a regular kitchen knife. Answer the fucking question. <laughs> it's one of our regular kitchen knives. We have a Answer oh, so the this, fucking this, question! So this isn't like a special knife. No. It's just like a steak knife that someone buried in the guy's throat. Yeah. Was there a knife missing from the table set? I don't know. Was there? To the dining room! Is there a knife missing? Make a perception check. To see a knife. I plot my face with a knife. Is there a knife missing? Yes, there is a knife missing. Whose knife? Lenore's. Okay, Lenore's off the hook. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, do you think... Wait, which one's Lenore? Lenore is the thief. Red herring lady? Shut up! Do you think a practiced thief who used glamour to get in here would be stupid enough to kill someone with their own knife? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, and wait. Dark, did you really... Did you really... What? Gar, did you really make that the rogue killed her with her own knife? No. Are you certain? I'm pretty I'm certain. certain. You know, the way to, um, the way to find, I know, Dark, the way to figure this out is to look at who there is no evidence pointing to. The dwarves! Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's... Okay, I'm going dwarves. to say this now. I've made a murder mystery not in some not to be all meta and stuff. This is kind of straightforward and you're fucking it up. We could just kill all it's of them. It's the mayor himself! His son was an embarrassment, so it was the only way to clean up the evidence. It's what I do too. The son was suicidal. <laughs> And just chose the time when the lights were Everyone out. Everyone here except for us, for once, is the suspect and also simultaneously the murderer. I probably should be a suspect in this. <laughs> you are a suspect in a different, different murder. Attack. Actually, wait a minute. I have an alibi. I was trying to kill the road. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's it. to make his life hell later. Oh, oh my god, ow! Oh my god. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking no reasons, no answers, everybody pays. Alright, you're gonna so beat everybody up? Everybody. Is this the part where we just kill all of them? We have assumed leadership of the town. <laughs> the, murder, the murderer had to be one of them. <laughs> the only way to be certain was to kill everybody. Yeah. The mayor and his it's wife and all the ch and all the people are starting to look very concerned as you are saying all of this. We'll oh, do it too. We've done worse. We killed a dragon for literally no reason. Lenore and the mayor's wife are backing off at the same time, like, uh, <laughs> you're not as bad as they are. I wonder if she has an affair with I Lenore. I just realized that we've been saying this out loud, so telepathically. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I apologize profusely, but make sure they know that there's also a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> not the Paul One of the dwarves asks Zabur, can I have that morning star back? <laughs> 
Don't worry. So you, you can kill it. us with it? Okay, this this is degraded somewhere. <laughs> this has degraded extremely somewhere. degraded. Let's bring it back now. Come on, bring it back. Okay, so the man's he... own blood tried to kill him. <laughs> it's omnipresent. Thief lady's knife was used in the murder. Like secret son, who is probably a robot, has all the motive in the world. This child I probably just beat up for no reason. <laughs> I'm, I'm not apologizing. <laughs> she scowls at you, but also is very afraid. You want me to turn around and look at you too? The dwarves have done and said nothing this whole time. And that guy almost got killed. <laughs> so it's probably maybe not him. <laughs> but he's still a suspect. Honestly, the most likely people I see right now are the two dwarves. <laughs> Why not the parents? Because they love their I children the very much. That's a disappointment. I well, very I mean, loudly. We have established that they're terrible parents. <laughs> I very loudly and directly ask both parents if their son is in fact a disappointment. <laughs> no! We're I very proud of our motive. sons and daughter. I raw sense motive. One of your sons lives in the attic. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't say it with a straight face. I continue rolling sense motive. Are they lying about No, their they son love their kids? children very much. So they put one of their sons in the attic. <laughs> no. There's a difference between loving your son and knowing deep down that they are, in fact, a disappointment. <laughs> I mean, you put one of them in the attic, for fuck's sake. I'm pretty sure this man is a robot. So, are you certain you don't think your almost murdered son is a disappointment? Yeah, I mean, he almost got killed. That's pretty disappointing. He can't even beat a child at chess. No, he's he's a humane activist. He helps or he helps children at the school. What God, the I'd be fuck disappointed. Is humane? <laughs> humane act of it? No, I don't know. It sounded like something. I'd be disappointed. He he helps children. He he's loved by many people in the town. This man gestures to Owen helps children. <clears throat> he beat the shit out of one of them, so what the hell? <laughs> I don't actually see. I think I think I said something that went over your one of your heads earlier. Try and remember. I think you're forgetting. There's a few thing. There's another piece that you're missing, and try to remember. Who? There's no bad meat. <laughs> who? Who was like sitting at this table? Like, what were the positions? Well, I was about here. Yes, Lenore was sitting right next to you, along with um, the mayor's son, Marty. Yeah. And then one of the dwarves was sitting next to you. Uh, no, Wait that, a minute. Anush was There's sitting a piece next of paper in these potatoes. Give me that piece of paper. What's on this paper? Uh, it looks like a, a used scroll. A fireball? No. Make, an arcon make a spellcraft or arcana, whatever. I want to rock. Oh, monk, I don't know what that means. Hey, I wanna... want to rock. What are you two punks? Has passed, apparently. Yeah, we, we just pass back. each other and like we get to we our destinations and cool. realize, oh wait. We speak not of this in future. I identify the scroll. All right. Uh, it looks like a spent scroll of magical darkness. Oh, what a surprise! Some devouring magical darkness potatoes. That means that either you cast magical darkness. Or someone here has a pretty high use magic device modifier. Really? I'm looking at you. 
Wait, really? It's yeah. right next yeah. to Anu's. Uh, no, it's not. It was actually across the table. Wait, Who's where? potatoes was it found in? Here. Who's potatoes? Who contaminated the potatoes? Murray suddenly <laughs> runs up the stairs. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I chase after him. I'll get her. Her! Wait, who huh? is Murray? Murray is the second son that you think is a robot. I'll get him. Alright, you run up the stairs, run up the stairs. How alive do you want him? You run up the it's stairs. It's combat time! Alive. Right. Actually alive. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me set this up. Let me get everyone. Okay. You run up the stairs and go into his room and he's not there. I will burn this place down. Are they sure that there are no secret passages in this house? None that the mayor are aware of. There's the kid is. I roll perception for hidden doors. Do I find the hidden door? You find a hidden door! Does I the vote, robot activate? Is it right? I vote we kill this right now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, do you, like, you look around the room and you see there is a haphazardly closed wall. Great, before we go in there, let's destroy the big robot. I bet it's right here. No, that's just shadow stuff. Uh, nice. What you doing? Well, we're destroying the robot. Alright, make an engineering check. All to right. break it. Yeah, to dismantle it a little bit. Dismantle right. nothing, we're gonna tear it to pieces. I have it trained. Fine, Let's make an attack this. roll. Or I have it trained. Let's do this. Do I dismantle it? You take out uh, some uh, important wires and gears. You're pretty sure that if it does come alive, it's not going to be able to move or even stand up. How many of those hit it when it's just standing there? Uh, let me see. It's a large thing. Uh, yeah. Two of them. Because even though it's standing there, it's still made of metal. So two of yeah. them hit. So where is the hidden door that we found? Uh, it's right next to you. Right here. Me? Yeah. Do you like oh. try and op uh, like jostle it and see if it like you know how it opens? Uh, yes. Dark Arts. Yes. Apply apply any kind of dr that it has twice. <laughs> okay. So, do you go through the door? Yes. yes. I'm going to try to open it. Alright. That's your technically standing in front of it. You push open the door, or the hidden door, and go into the room and find this. What the? Oh, it's a brain. You see Murray frantically, like, pulling and poking wires around. He looks at you. D d damn it. I'm gonna lay you out. It's a brain. He snaps his fingers, and in the corners, two uh, soldier robots start walking in uh, towards you. That ain't gonna help you, buddy. I just can lay down peacefully now, or else we're about to get real violent on your ass. Oh, I'm gonna get violent anyway. I tell them we found the Tyranid hive mind. Roll Tree. initiative. Oh, okay, no, you don't have to roll initiative. You can talk. You can talk first. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What the hell is going on? Here? What do you think? Well, I see the giant brain. I see the robots. But what the fuck is going on? This is how I can I can control my the machines. A few weeks ago, a lady in black with yellow eyes told me of my greatness that I could become being in oh, the shadow of my brother. Three times. Huh? 
That vampire that I killed three times. Shut up. She told me how I could be better than my br br brother. She even did this, and he pulls back some of his hair, and you can see healing, but still there, a scar across uh, his head. He put a computer in his skull. He's a robot. No. Sh she took part of my brain so I could make this. It l left me with this stutter, but it was well worth it. Oh, so that is in character. Yes! You didn't think it was. I was doing it constantly with this character only. I was gonna say, like, Dark Arts, I know you trip every now and then. <laughs> this is just terrible. I'm not that bad. Damn it. So what you're saying is we have more reason to destroy the brain. If we destroy the brain, will he become comatose? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you can not. find out. Hey, roll a spellcraft check. Roll a spellcraft check. Alright. One of which to see if he will go comatose. Uh, you don't believe he'll go comatose. He has enough of his brain to be able to... He Basically, part of his brain is out of his head. If he's functioning now, he'll function without it. Alright, here's a new idea. Roll, okay. Now I roll to see if it's emanating a catapsy around it. It does have a field of, um... Com communication, how it's how Murray is able to talk to the brain, which in question talks to the servants of the house. Is it a catapsy? I don't know what that is. Right. It's an empty right, so no. Here's what I do. I, 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 all right, look. Ricky. Ricky? I'm giving you. I, wait, what's this guy's name? Murray. Is? All right, Murray. I'll give you one chance. I'm just stepping forward. My hands are raised. I have my weapon. Lay the weapons down. He has just no weapons in his hand. Deactivate the robots. Deactivate the robots. And just stand down. This doesn't need to end in more violence. Alright. He would look to you. And then look to the brain. And say, I... I know what you're saying. And I do, but it its thoughts are mine, and its wants are mine, and while I want my brother dead, I do not act upon it, whereas the brain has no such emotion. It is why, in my opinion, in my thought, that it made one of the servants attack my brother. So you're saying this brain is acting upon your subconscious? Possibly. And as so if we he says that, the brain says affirmative. Murray looks absolutely shocked that it said something. I look, I look to the brain and go, so you're sentient? Affirmative. I think this is a good idea. Why did you have them attack his brain? Oh, let's Captain Kirk this shit. <laughs> I cast fully augmented battle sense. Can we confuse the brain to self-destruct? You are imperfect. Fulfill your prime directive. <laughs> One of the soldiers walk up, walks up closer to you. Hey, man, well, you want to go? I'll kick your ass. No! <laughs> Do bar with parents, like, slam his weapon into the ground. Like, enough. Brain. You are sentient, correct? Affirmative. Why did you have them attack his brother? It doesn't say anything. Why attack someone who isn't a threat to you? You both can coexist. It doesn't matter. You don't have to live in your brother's shadow. Still doesn't answer. Oh my god, you only speak in yeses and noes. Affirmative. You and your whatever he is to you. You both have a great potential ability with these creatures, with these con constructs. You could do great and many things. I facepalmed so hard my ear rang. <laughs> I, I ask you this only once. Lay down the violence, step away, and we can all walk away from this fine. Make a dipl dipl uh, diplomatic check. Diplomacy. Negative. Shit. All right, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Time. 
You, you don't know about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I know I yelling. I know yelling and like flurry of blows. I also use coordinate strike and focus attack. Uh, let's see. Just a top of those... is a universal construct. On hold on. On top of those bonuses, yeah, circumstance bonuses, you get an extra plus two insight to attack, and if you attack the brain, what's this? You do one d six more damage. The extra damage and the plus two from insight is to attack the brain. Everything I've put in chat is for everything. Hmm. Alright. 